hi students next continuation students chemical properties of ether students when ethers react with excess of hydro iodic acid hi hydrogen iodide when ethers react with excess of hi what is the production so already we discussed in ethers react with normal student ethers react with hi student now now take the example that is simple that is symmetrical ether student ch3 ch2 o ch2 then ch3 when symmetrical ether react with normal hi normal hi what happens when what happens when bond cleavage in ether that is simple ether mix symmetrical ether what happens when bond cleavage in between oxygen and carbon so both side possible so we can cleavage any side we can take any side left side or right side one this oxygen getting negative charge and carbon getting positive charge in this hydro iodic acid h plus and i minus this h plus will attacks this h plus will attacks negative charge side this i minus will attacks positive charge side we get that is product is what is the production that is one is alcohol what is one is methyl sorry one is ethyl alcohol and another one is ethyl iodide will be formed this is only normal hi student this is normal hi already we discussed in previous video but here what is the what is the uh, statement should ethers react with excess of hi what happens should ethers react with hi excess of hi here now take the same example should when diethyl ether ch3 ch2 o ch2 then ch3 excess react with hi that is excess excess means what should take the two moles but here take the i took the only one mole should is first example we took only one mole one h plus will attack this oxygen side i minus will attack this positive charge side but in this second example should same symmetrical or symmetrical ethers react with excess of hi means take the two moles of hydro iodic acid what happens when simple you remember student here here two hydrogens are there student two hydrogens are there here one oxygen is there so what happens when two hydrogens are there and one oxygen that is both are elimination so what is the production that is what is the production that is now product is one second now product is student that is ch3 ch2 i plus ch3 ch2 i plus water is elimination this is the simple trick so there is two steps reaction states when diethyl ether react with excess of hi hydro iodic acid take the two moles of hydro iodic acid that means here take the two hydrogens from here one oxygen from here here water is elimination strength remaining is two iodines are left two iodines are left one iodine will attacks this this ethyl group and one more iodine will attacks this ethyl group so we get is two moles of ethyl iodide will be formed two moles of <coughs> sorry two moles of ethyl iodide will be formed so this is the simple trick student i will explain step by step student now take the same example student i will explain step by step now take the when diethyl sorry step by step student that is take the when diethyl ether ch3 ch2 o then ch2 then ch3 so what happens to that is react with first one step by step here the excess of hi means two here two we took the two moles of hydro hydrogen i will explain step by step so clearly uh, first step what happens is that is hydro iodic acid what happens is bond cleavage in between oxygen and carbon this oxygen getting negative charge this carbon getting positive charge we know so that is this hydro in hydro iodic acid h plus and i minus h plus and i minus so in this reaction so this h plus will attacks so negative charge side so this h plus will attack negative charge side this i minus will attack this side so we get what is the production that is one is one uh, one is one is ethyl iodide will be formed students and another one is ethyl alcohol will be formed ethyl alcohol will be formed students one is ethyl iodide and another one is ethyl alcohol will be formed student so same thing should there is same thing simple student this bond cleavage in, we can cut with any side left side or left side or right side why because of this both are equal left hand this oxygen left hand side two carbons are there right hand side also two carbons are there so here bond cleavage we can side both sides are possible so i am i am cutting only right side we can take any side as you wish 
this bond cleavage in between this oxygen and carbon, this oxygen getting negative charge, this carbon getting positive charge. In this hydroiodic acid, this hydrogen positive charge and iodine negative charge. This H plus will attack negative charge side, we get that is alcohol will be formed. This I minus will attack this positive, positive charge side, we get that is ethyl iodide will be formed. So, here in this reaction, how many moles of hydroiodic, hydroiodic acid involved? In this reaction, only one mole of HI is involved, only one mole of HI is involved to form one is ethyl iodide, one is ethyl alcohol. Now, take the one more, now same continuation strain, now take the one more HI strain, when ethyl alcohol, this when this ethyl alcohol, this ethyl alcohol again react with HI strain, next step strain, already one mole of ethyl iodide involved and remaining one mole of HI again react with ethyl alcohol, what happens strain that is in this reaction strain? here this OH from here strand, this H plus from here, this water is elimination strand, a bond cleavage in between strand, bond cleavage in between this carbon and oxygen strand, this carbon getting positive charge and OH minus, this OH minus this H plus strand. Generally, H, H I it contain H plus and I minus strand, this H plus will combines with OH minus, we get water is elimination strand, remaining is iodine will be left, this iodine will be left this I minus, this I minus will be left strand, this I minus will attacks this side, we get with the, we get that is again ethyl iodide will be formed, again ethyl iodide will be formed strand. This is the simple trick strand. So, this overall reaction that is I am explanation same reaction strand, this is same reaction strand. When diethyl ether react with excess of HI, excess of HI means here we took that is 2 moles of HI, 2 moles of HI what happens today, what happens strand? Here 2 moles of ethyl iodide, 2 moles of ethyl iodide will be formed and 1 mole of water will be formed. Now, I clear explanation in this step, this mechanism, simple, this simple mechanism strain, not mechanism, but I will step by step strain. In this diethyl ether, I am, I am, I am taking first step 1 mole of hydroiodic acid. What happens to the one is ethyl iodide, one is ethyl alcohol. Again, ethyl alcohol react with 1 mole of HI, we get ethyl iodide and water will be formed. In this overall reaction, in this overall reaction, how many moles of hydroiodic acid is involved? 2 moles of hydroiodic hydro iodide hydro iodic acid in involved. 1 mole of hydroiodic acid, here also 1 mole strand and here also 1 mole total. 2 moles of hydroiodic acid is involved. So, this is the simple trick strain, this is overall reaction hydroiodic acid, this hydroiodic acid, this is the simple trick strain. When diethyl ether react with excess of HI, when diethyl ether react with excess of HI, we get that is ethyl iodide will be formed. This is the simple trick strain. Ethyl iodide will be formed, 2 moles of ethyl iodide will be formed. Strain. I will give some examples. Strain. Now, take the some examples that is, if in case unsymmetrical ether, what happens to that is CH3O, then CH2, then CH3 react with HI, excess of HI, excess of HI. Now, first one, strain. now take the second example. Strain. Now, take the second example CH3, then CCH3, then CH3, then O, then CH3 plus HI. Same here also excess of HI. Find out the correct production. Now, take the third example. Strain. In third example, benzyl methyl ether react with excess of HI, excess of HI. What is the production? Now, take the, so find out this, these three components, so what is the production? So, in this reaction strain, excess means take the 2 moles of HI strain, take the 2 moles of HI strain. So, what happens strain that is, what happens strain that is, one is methyl iodide will be formed and another one is ethyl iodide will be formed plus water, water. Simple trick strain here 2 moles of what here 2 hydrogens, 2 hydrogens from here, 1 oxygen from here, water is elimination strain, remaining 2 iodines are left, 1 iodine will attack this carbon, 1 iodine will attack this compound. So, we get is 1 is ethyl iodide, another one is methyl iodide. 
Now take the same thing student. Now excess of hydroiodic acid, hydroiodic acid, excess of H student. Same thing student. Here two hydrogens are there. Here one oxygen is there. So one oxygen is there. So water is elimination student. Remaining two iodines are left. One iodine will attack this tertiary carbon, and one more iodine will attack this carbon. So we get what is the production? That is one is tertiary butyl iodide will be formed. Tertiary butyl iodide will be formed. Another one is methyl iodide will be formed plus water. This is the simple trick student. Now take the one more. Now take the next example student. Same thing student. When benzyl methyl ether, benzyl methyl ether react with excess of hydroiodic acid, excess of HI, we get that is same thing student. Here two hydrogens from here, oxygen from here, water is elimination student. So we get that is benzyl iodide will be formed. That is benzyl iodide, benzyl iodide plus and methyl iodide will be formed this is the simple trick student this is the simple trick student this is the simple trick students these are the important chemical properties of ether when ethers react with hi to give different types of products when ethers react with excess of hi what are the products so this is the simple trick for Ethan, if you like my video, please like, share and comment and thanks for watching.